Now, when it comes to Chamber Spot in the meta, it is pretty questionable. Now, although, yes, he isn't as weak as that one Berserk looking ass, but he also isn't as powerful when it comes to the other Sentinels, such as Killjoy and Cypher. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Chamber and just pitching out some ideas that could possibly bring his pick rate up, while also not making him completely fucking broken. Anyways, if you do end up enjoying this video, leave a like and comment because that would boost me in the algorithm a lot, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, let's get on to the video. Now, we're going to be primarily talking about his abilities in this video, but the ones that we are definitely not going to be mentioning has to be his Headhunter and his Tour de Force, because those, I would say, is perfectly fine how they are at the moment. The Headhunter is really good for eco rounds, and the Tour de Force is literally a free operator. The abilities which we are going to be talking about is going to be covering his rendezvous and his trademark. Now the change I would give to his CP is to give it a secondary function where it could function just like how it does in his trailer. In which when you're placing down the TP, it, instead of left clicking, you also would have the option to right click to it and basically instantly TP to the spot where you are basically placing the card at. This would basically make the ability work like a discount omen TP, but would be like significantly less stealthy because the noise would be coming from where you TP to, not from where you TP from. But would still give Chamber a repositioning ability. Like let's just say you're stuck in a corner, you could use this new right click to basically get out of that sticky situation. Overall, this wouldn't be a super crazy change, but would overall just give one extra thing to Chamber and his toolkit. Now, when it comes to the second change I would give to Chamber's kit, I would just say to remove the range limit when it comes to his trip. I would understand why there's a range limit on his trip if it was like something very powerful, like an invisible alarm bot or a turret that basically has an unlimited detection radius. But Chamber's trip probably has to be one of the more weaker trips in the game because it's not invisible like the Killjoy alarm bot, and it also doesn't have a super big radius when it comes to her turret which is why I'm so confused on why it has this range limit. That's why I would just say to remove this range limit back and give back Chamber a lot of his flexibility back. So now he doesn't have to worry about this stupid radius whenever he's holding flank or, you know, watching a sight with his trip. But apart from that, that's basically all the tiny suggestions that I have when it comes to Chamber's abilities. None of them are anything crazy or would be like meta defining, but they would basically just be some abilities that just give Chamber a little bit more room for creativity. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and comment because that would boost this video in the algorithm a lot. And also subscribe if you haven't already. I am trying to reach 10k. Anyways, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Goodbye.